Hi, welcome to SCC 21. My name is Hakyang Kim. Today, I'm going to talk about Samsung ESE. What is an embedded secure element? As it says here, a chip that provides tamper resistant platform capable of securely hosting applications, confidential, and cryptographic data. This kind of data will be cryptographic keys and sensitive data. In case of mobile device, secure element is completely separated from other chipsets like application processor. Secure element has its own processor and memory, so it has an independent execution environment. All right, then what are the benefits of using Samsung ESE? Let's see what's good about it, one by one. First, Samsung ESE is certified solution. We have been thinking how we convince others about security and made a decision to have as many certifications as possible. As a result, our products have certifications such as Common Criteria, Global Platform, EMVCO, and national security agencies like BSI, NC. With these certifications, Samsung ESC has advantages like compatibility and scalability for those who want to adopt. Second, Samsung ESC has enhanced security. Samsung ESC is carefully designed to prevent stealing assets by malicious actors, even if they have physical access to the smartphone. All of them have at least EAL 5 plus, which can provide equal or higher security level as an electronic passport. Finally, Samsung ESC is open for partners. One of basic principles when we design secure element is openness. Our goal is to allow customers to choose the best option for their needs. We don't want to make secure element only for internal purposes. Instead, we have imagined an ecosystem where anyone can contribute. Samsung EC is being used for various purposes. First, it's payment. As you may well know, Samsung Pay is one of the use cases for payment. For your convenience, we support transit as well. We have a number of partners that use our ESC from Asia to Europe. So you can take the bus, subway, or train with your phone. An ID card. Samsung ESC can be used even for national identification. After years of commitment, we're about to support German national ERD. We're able to offer a tremendous convenience so that they can go everywhere safely. Also, it can be used as digital key, such as car key. For car key, we support Audi, BMW, and Mercedes. Next, eSIM. In order to make a call or send a text, you need to put SIM card in your smartphone. But with the Samsung ESC eSIM feature, you don't need extra SIM card. All you have to do is just activate your eSIM. For those who want to use the smartphone for a specific purpose, especially for security, Samsung ESC is quite an attractive option to take. We have been in business with the governments and corporations for years. You can have all benefits with only one Samsung smartphone. With these advantages, your life will be much easier and simpler. This is overall architecture for Samsung ESC ecosystem. There are two main actors, service providers, trusted service manager, so-called SPTSM, and Samsung Key Management System, so-called SKMS. SPTSM is a trusted party providing service management and delivery on behalf of the service provider, so-called SP. SP could be a government, institution, or private company providing services to customers. And SKMS 
controls access to the ESC and provide car content management operations to other actors. The goal is to enable ESC so that user can utilize it for various purposes. Enabling ESC requires installation and personalization of applet. SKMS takes responsibility for creation SP's security domain through Samsung ESC SDK prior to installation of applet. And SPTSM takes responsibility for installation and personalization of applet using Samsung ESC SDK and Open Mobile API. Regarding ESC communications, there are two ways to communicate with ESC. One is Samsung ESC SDK, the other is Open Mobile API. Open Mobile API has been adopted since Android API 28. You can find related information on Android developer website. And you can find more information about Samsung ESC SDK on Samsung developer's website. In order to deploy service, service provider needs to implement Java car applet of their own. So I'd like to show you basic structure of Java car applet. There are a few essential methods applet needs to implement. Constructor, install, process. First, constructor method. Constructor does two things in this case. Initialize the object and register the applet instance. Applet instance needs to be registered with the Java car runtime environment. Hello World constructor does this by calling register method. Next, install method. The install method is the main method in a Java car program. An instance of Java car applet is created through the install method and process method. All APDU communication take place within process method. For example, handling command and response APDU, selecting applet, establishing secure channel protocol, and so on. And process method takes one parameter, an APDU object. An APDU object is used to send and receive an APDU between off-car entity and Java car applet. As you can see here, we are cooperating with reliable service partners around the world. We are eager to expand services with valued partners. As we published Samsung ESC SDK on Samsung developers' website, we would like to expand our ecosystem as much as possible. For those who want to participate Samsung ESC ecosystem, please join us. That's it for today's session. I hope this session is useful to someone interested. Thank you.